Nina Brown. Yes. Guess who stepped up in the building? I don't know if we should have let him in. This is an Alabama fan right here. (laughs) Oh, gee. This is UGA territory, my guy. Roll Tide. That's all I'm going to say. Roll Tide. Wherever I go. You, I'm a thug. You, Roll time. You lucky you a gospel artist, okay? <laughs> I'm excited to be Come here. Come on, man. Pastor yes. Mike is in the building. How you doing, partner? I'm blessed, man. I'm hanging with two great people, man. I'm excited. It's a beautiful day. You know, Georgia just won a national championship, but the coach came from Alabama. <laughs> so that's just like a, a championship. We let y'all alone. So it's a good it's a good oh day for me. It's a good day. That's a step. Get him out that's of a here, step Frank. championship. Like is that what it is? That's our step championship. Man, how you been? I'm good, man. Just dropped a new album, Impossible. Um, last time we checked, it's the number two most downloaded album yes. in the world behind Shania Twain. That's pretty good company. Yeah, man. Come so on I'm now. I'm excited, man. Wow. I'm excited about it and honored to be here. What about the fact that your song was being played in regular rotation? Yeah, it's yeah. not even like gospel yeah. anymore. Like, we were playing it in regular rotation with all the other R&B songs. How does that feel? Man, it's crazy, man. I think uh, one of the most powerful things happened was my grandmother called me one day. She was listening to the radio. said, baby, baby. Baby, baby, you on the radio. Not the church radio. <laughs> Not the church. You on the real radio. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, yes. man, it's a blessing because whether we like it or not, and I know the church don't want to hear this, uh, the same people who shouting on Sunday, listening to y'all on Monday and Tuesday okay. and Wednesday. So it's the same crowd, man. I'm excited for all the opportunities I get. Sometimes when I hear you, I remember the early days of Kirk Franklin. Yeah. Oh. You get what I'm saying? I can see that. How he was moving the crowd and moving the young people. <laughs> see, you might not be old enough for this, but yeah. I'm old enough to remember when Kirk came out, like, the church ain't like him. They ain't know what to do with him. The church ain't yeah. know what to do. They was like, yeah. it's blasphemy. Yeah. Okay. They I, they dancing in the church. That's I, why he I, did I, stomp and stuff. I, th- I, think, I think, you know, since, so you know, we talking Jordan and LeBron, you know, yeah. Kurt and PMJ. I think that's a pretty good good scenario that, right there. there. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll be the next LeBron. I, I'll be LeBron if you go. <laughs> that's it, not me. I think gospel music is the only genre of music where the message plus the melody equals a miracle. Mm. So no matter what type of format you put it on, what no matter what type of beat you put it on, that's why I think in this new new age we're in, in the club, you can hear melodies from heaven, and with a ha- cup in their hand, they still Facts. feel it because it touches your soul. So for me, yeah. man, I'm excited, and I'm grateful for people like you because gospel music doesn't have many platforms. So, Pastor Mike, you got to give us, like, the inspiration, though, behind I Got It. Like, I mm-hmm. feel like there's a story yeah. with that song. Yeah, I Got It was special, man. So imagine we're in church at Bible study. Okay. And um, we're just playing with playing. I said something about whatever you need, God got it. And you're going to slip shift you tonight. You're going to say you got it. And we're so ratchet at my church. I just said, I got it. I got it. And the whole church didn't say amen. They said, yep. And so we just kept going and we came home and I said, God, I want to write a song because what I'm doing is so smooth, man. I'm just taking old school songs or old school. Mama would say, I got the blessing. I got the miracle. Okay. And just trying to make it relatable. So, man, that's what it was. And I had no idea it would be played on all stations across the world, man. So I'm I'm still, it's all surreal because it happened for me in a pandemic. Yeah. So you got to think about it. This is my first time ever coming to radio stations because because God did all this for me in a pandemic. But I'm here now. It's Pastor Mike Jr. on the Frank Ski Show with Nina Brown.